Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Zen and today I'm going to show you guys every single Lego dinosaur action figures out there and then we are going to do a matchup with the Mattel figures right behind. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. We have a Conotaurus, okay? So let's check this out and we have a Conotaurus Toro Cam Cretaceous series for the comparison. Right, so let's take a look at this. This is the new Control and Conquer Notorious Toro. And here's the Lego figure. Okay, let's proceed to our next one, okay? How about the Baryonyx? So we have a Baryonyx figure right over here. Beautiful figure. And here is the Equivalent. This is a Rory Vaughn. They look exactly the same. Yep, very similar. Blue sculpt. Place the Baryonyx right over here. Next, I'm gonna pick a Triceratops. This is a new Triceratops 2020 version. Let's do a comparison with the Dewar Attack Triceratops right over here. Two buttons. Alright. Place the Triceratops back over here. Next up, let's take a look at um, the new Gallimimus. Let's try it. This is a new release. Can move the arms and the legs. And we do have a Galley Mimers figure to go along with it. Take a look at this. This is the Savage Strike Galley Mimers. Once you press this button, the legs will move. You can move the neck and the arms as well. Back. I'm gonna place a Lego figure right over here. I'm gonna choose another new species. Um, how about the new Ankylosaurus? It looks beautiful. You can move the tail. You can move the legs. Let's do a comparison with the Ankylosaurus behind. Are you guys able to spot it? It's hidden right behind. Okay, so I'm just gonna stretch and reach out to it. And let's do a comparison. This is the Rory Vaw. There you go. You can see they have very very similar arrangement of the spikes. Okay. This is the first wave of the rover. Still working fine. I'll place this back over here. Ankylosaurus, I'll place it. The Lego Ankylosaurus. Next up. How about the Indoraptor? I have two of this. This is out. Looks beautiful. And we do have this is the Grab and Grow Indoraptor. comes with two functions. The button right here triggers the jaw and it lights up the eyes. This is the grabbing function. The spikes here are soft and um, flexible so it's pretty safe. Place the Indoraptor back over here. The Lego Move the camera backwards a little bit so you can see 
more of the figures. Okay, let's get into another species. Sticky Moloch. Beautiful, cute little figure. Can move the arms and the legs. And let's find the Sticky Moloch right behind, which is right here. Oops. Count Taurus has taken a fall. Let's place it right back. There you go. Yelly Mimers as well. Let's help it up. So here's the Sticky Moloch. The battle damaged Sticky Moloch. Yeah. So let's do a comparison. Very similar in terms of um, the coloring. So here's the Dino Damage Wound. Can move the arms, the head, and the legs. So that's the Sticky Moloch pair for you. I'm gonna place a sticky mold right here. Eagle figure right over here. Okay, next up, we have two Dilophosaurus. One is in luminous green, and the other one in a olive green tone. Both are beautiful. And where is our Dilophosaurus? I think it's right behind. Hidden right in this corner. So let's take a look. As you can see, you can move the frill. And this venom can be taken right out. Place it back easily. The arms, the legs. So let's do a quick comparison. Alright, you can see some similarities. The frill is painted in red. You have some red patterns over here. Cool. I'll place this right back. Next up, Indominus Rex. We have two different Indominus Rex. This is the latest one. Alright, it is in a slightly um, darker shade of um, grey, light grey, and this is in white. Both are equally beautiful. But if you take a look at the head sculpt, I'm not too sure whether there is any difference. I don't think so, but the painting of the eyes definitely looks very different. It looks much bigger right here. Okay, the patterns on the skin is different as well, the patterns can see on the legs, the body as well, and this is shiny, silvery, grey patterns, looks beautiful. For the Indominus Rex, we have the Destroy and Devour right here, so let's have a look. It's a very huge figure. So you need to press this button a couple of times and it will light up um, the neck. Alright, and this is the button for you to trigger the grabbing function. Really, really, really beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Of course, you can see some similarities as well. The red eyes and a sharp teeth. Place this right back. Blue has taken a fall. I'm gonna get blue. So this is blue. We have two different blues, okay? This is the 2015 version right here. With the head gear, which holds a camera on top of his head. And this is the new version which came out sometime last year, I think 2019. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna place 
blue right back okay let's take a look at um, more velociraptors okay there are plenty of different velociraptors we have a luminous green one this is not exactly a Jurassic World of course we have um, Delta, Echo, Charlie okay there's three of them these are from 2015 yeah there's three right here they're from 2015 I'm just gonna place it right at the side because we're running out of space as you can see every single Lego dinosaurs plus the Mattel figures is taking up a lot of space next up T-Rex this is the 2015 version all right and if you take a look behind we have a couple of different T-Rex to go along with it and this is the latest released I mean not the latest release as in this is the new T-Rex all right a repainted version so which which color variation do you guys like more for me I really like the different um, contrast that this has it has some darker shade for the stripes and some really nice um, gray spots right here so this one looks really interesting yep and this is another one right here which is really cool darker shade of gray all right to go along with it looks beautiful okay I'm gonna show you the T-Rex right behind okay we have four different T-Rex behind first we have the bite and fight T-Rex which has two really amazing Awesome actions, okay. Place this on the floor first, and we have a green legacy collection T Rex, which is working well right here, and the new extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex, a repainted version. All right, and at the back. That's not the Thrash and the Throw T-Rex, okay? This is actually um, the Anatomy Kid T-Rex. Uh, no, I mean this is the um, Battle Damage T-Rex, which is also similar to the Extreme Chomping T-Rex. In terms of the playability, in terms of the sculpt, so which one, which T-Rex is your most favorite one? There is another new T-Rex which I have not bought yet which is the new Cam Cretaceous um, um, Epic Roaring T-Rex You know, I, I, I can't get it online I can only find it on eBay and it's costing a lot and I've just bought a Seat Mika Roram from eBay at a very very high price so I'm not too sure whether I'm spending um, to get the epic roaring T-Rex next up we have a Pteranodon Rorivore from from the first wave okay, can open his jaw like this okay for the Pteranodon we do have two different Pteranodons from Jurassic World this is the first one alright I think we should have no I think we should have three at least I think one of them is actually missing yeah we should have three I'm not too sure can you guys please let me know whether there are two different Pteranodons I mean this is the latest one do we have another red one which is um I, I'm not too sure so probably there are only two 
if you guys can let me know over on like Facebook or Instagram that would be really helpful okay so yeah there you go and this is um the doer attack pteranodon okay so we have two different pteranodons I mean from Jurassic World Mattel there are plenty of pteranodons but from Jur from the Jurassic World Lego I mean this could be the only two okay next up we do have a baby triceratops right here and um, to actually match it I've prepared a smaller triceratops for the comparison yeah I mean we don't really have a baby triceratops from Mattel this is the battle damage triceratops in terms of the pose, I'm not a huge fan of it because it looks like it's crouching. It looks really weird to me. Yeah, so uh, I'm not exactly a huge fan of this um, Triceratops figure. But this baby Triceratops is definitely super cute. Super cute, yeah. I'm placing it right at the bottom. Okay, next we have a baby Ankylosaurus and unfortunately we don't have a baby one from Mattel to match it up so that's fine okay we have baby blue of course there are plenty of other baby dinosaurs which I don't have <laughs> okay but that's fine we have um, three more raptors. This it's from the Jurassic World set from the Lego kit set. This one is not exactly from um, from Jurassic World, but it's a very nice little figure. And this is the latest Velociraptor. Yeah, so as you can see. There are plenty of different raptors behind. Yeah. So that's right. These are all the Lego Jurassic World figures that you can find. I don't think we have missed out any major ones. Yeah. If you do think that we have left out any, you know, major you know, Jurassic World Lego figures you can let me know over on Instagram and Facebook and do follow me on Facebook okay because I, I need to get to 10,000 followers over there yeah we are currently at 7,000 okay guys thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys on Saturday goodbye <laughs>